down in Daytona, and I'm on my way to Kelly Code Detectors. Um, I had a little problem last night. I was out on the beach, hitting some coins in the dry sand, working my way down to the wet sand, or actually where the water kind of goes into the little jetties on the beach. And I've hunted there before uh, and had pretty good luck. A lot of stuff settles in those low spots, but I did not realize this. My detector, all of a sudden, it just, I wasn't getting any signals. And it was odd because there was so much junk on the beach and I, I thought I should have been getting some signals. So I pulled some coins out of my pocket, ran them under the coil and dead silence, nothing. I heard the hum from the threshold, but that's all I heard. Um, I didn't know this at the time, but my detector is 18 years old. The coil on my detector had a crack in it, oh, about two inches long, just a little crack. And evidently it's let salt water in. Um, I cannot get it to work. I, I've got the majority of the water out of it, or at least I think I have. Uh, but still, I'm worried that that salt water is going to corrode that copper winding in there. And even if I dry it out, it's never, ever going to be the same. Hey, look, here's the Daytona Speedway over there. Getting ready to pass that. Um, pretty cool. I I've, I've, uh, haven't seen that for a lot of years. So anyway, um, I'm heading out to Kellyco. They say they've got a 10 by 14 double D coil for 152 and some change. Uh, if it's in it's in stock if when I get there if I can find the place um, I'm gonna get that and hopefully that'll straighten the detector out and I'll get back on the beach tonight and I know I'll be able to go down into the jetties and in the low water my detectors not submersible uh, but anything you know down around the coil is not usually a problem I've hunted there before so I'll keep you guys posted hopefully this works I just left Kelly Co. I picked up a 10 by 14 double D coil it's got a solid coil cover on it. I would have preferred to have an open coil cover, but they were out of them and I need something to really protect this. Um, this is a sweet coil and really should make my machine uh, like a brand new machine because it's gonna detect totally different than it did with the stock round coil. Can't wait to get back out to the beach and give this a try. I'll let you know how it works. I'm out here hunting Daytona Beach. I'm finding a lot of clad, uh, digging a lot of trash because I'm looking for, you know, good stuff. That's you got to dig trash to find gold. But check out what I just found. I'm thinking it's a button. It's really heavy. I can't wait to get it back and clean it up and see if uh, maybe it's a brooch of some kind. I don't know. I'm pretty excited about the find. It's really pretty, really ornate. But like I said, it weighs a ton. I'll let you guys know if I find any markings on it once I clean it up. These are my finds for my July 18th, 2016 hunt of Daytona Beach. Today was my first official day to hunt. Yesterday I had a little incident. I did not know I had a crack in my coil. Got it down into the salt water, got salt water in the coil and uh, pretty well fried it. So I had to go and buy a new coil. Today was basically recon. I was trying to learn where the best areas of the beach to hunt were. And I was also hunting everything, hoping to find maybe a ring or an earring. So I was digging all targets that sounded good. These bottle caps, they sounded really good. Um, I only dug one pull tab. I was super surprised. I've got some foil back here. I've got a little piece of jewelry. I don't know what it is. Um, it's just a little metal piece off of something. Got a quarter, a couple nickels, some pennies, a few dimes. And this was the most interesting thing I found. I thought that it might be silver. It's very heavy, but looking at the corner, the, um, let's see if I can get it to focus a little bit. There we go. Looking at the corner, there's a nick on it, and it does not appear to be silver. Um, there is one little mark on the back. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Down there by my thumb, it's like a little C or an Omega, so I don't know what that is. Um, I do not believe it's silver. Uh, however, um, whatever it is, it rings very nicely on the detector. It looks like it might have been a button or some piece of jewelry. So I had a pretty good uh, pretty good time. I found where my detector performs best. Uh, I have a land-based detector uh, and it did not perform well in the water. It performed very well at the water's edge and the tight packed sand or the hard packed sand where the cars drive, it really nailed the target. So had a great time. I'm hoping tomorrow night to hunt again and maybe have a better night now that I've kind of got a feel where I want to hunt.